Hi, fifth and sixth graders. This video is your reading video of the day. All right, yesterday, I want to review. We talked about what characters are in this story. So I hope that you were reading your stories yesterday and you were finding some characters. In my story that I read yesterday, I had a little girl and her name was Paige. I also had two ladies in my story and their and their names were Wendy and Shanna. And they were trying, and they're sisters in my story. So I hope that you were able to identify the characters in your story. All right, let's review and get started here. Here we go. Yesterday, we talked about characters. Remember, characters can be who. Who is in the story? It can be animals. It can be things such as a triangle that I've drawn or a pencil or a crayon. Or the characters in the story can be people. Okay, so those are what characters are. Now, some more characters that you might find. The characters are individuals that the story is about. The author should introduce the characters in the story with enough information that you can visualize them. And visualize means you make a picture in your mind. Okay, so they give you enough descriptions of what they look like, what their hair color may be, what their eye color may be. And they also tell you about their personality traits. Like, are they nice? Are they mean? Are they kind of sassy? What else? Okay, every, every story should have a at least one main character. The main character determines the way the plot will develop, which we're going to talk about later today. Okay, now other characters are very, also very important because they, they give details. They give the explanations or the actions. Okay, so there can be main characters and then some characters in the story who aren't necessarily main characters, but they're still part of our story. Well, the next story element that we're going to talk about today is called the setting. Can you say that with me? Setting. Yes. So the setting is the location of the action. The author should describe the environment or surroundings of the story in such detail that it makes you feel that you can make that picture of that scene in your mind. Okay? So now, if they give you some fantasy settings, those might be more fun where you can explore and make the creatures in your mind. But in everyday settings, you can have a better idea of what the story might look like and you might feel more connected to the story. So remember the setting. It tells us when. When is this happening? Is it happening during the day, at night, middle of the day, the morning? And it also tells us when. When, like, is it May? Is it June? Is it summer? Is it spring? Is it 1986? Who knows? But it tells us when the story is happening. It also tells us where the story is happening. Okay, so that might be in a house. It might be outside in your backyard. It might be in the forest. Or it might be in the pond down at the lake. So the setting of the story tells when it happens and where it happens. What does the setting tell us? It tells us, keep these keywords in mind, when and where. Yes, very good. So today, be thinking not only of who your characters are, but where is, where is your story taking place and when is it taking place? I know I'll be doing that with mine today. The next story element that we're going to talk about today is called the plot. Can everybody say that? Plot. Yes, plot. All right. So the plot is the actual story around where the entire book is based. A plot should have a very clear beginning right here for my B because it tells me what happens in the beginning. It tells me what happens in the middle of the story. And then it tells me what happens at the end of the story. Okay, and it gives this with all the necessary descriptions and suspense, okay, called exposition, so that the reader can make sense of the action and follow along from start to finish. So plot tells me what happens. Tells me what happens in the beginning, the middle, and the end. Now remember, that's different from the setting, because the setting tells me when it's happening and where it's happening. 
but the plot actually tells me what happens in my story in the beginning, the middle, and the end. So friends, as you're reading today, I want you to keep track of not only your characters, but where is it happening, the setting, and what is happening. All right, friends, and if you would like to, drop me in the comments. Tell me what your book you're reading and tell me what story and where your story is happening and when it's happening, which was refers to the setting, and also tell me what's happening in the plot. All right, friends, until tomorrow. Bye.